Welcome to our course, Activation Function. And in this part of our course, we are going to learn linear activation function. In binary step function, we said that a neuron is either firing or not firing. So we said that there would be a certain threshold for a certain neuron to fire and a certain neuron for not to fire. So for example, there would be zero or less than zero for it to not fire and equal to or above zero for it to fire. A linear activation function is actually a simpler case. What would make this one a simpler case is that it's just actually a straight line. Just like your um, regression algorithm, this produces a straight line. So this is a straight line because of this very simple reason. The function is directly proportional to the weighted sum of the neurons. Say, for example, we have this function, the function of x is equal to mx, wherein m in this case is the constant. The rate of the slope here increases when the input rate also increases. Say, for example, when we have, let's have um, m is equal to 2, okay, and x is equal to 0, then it becomes 0. When x is equal to 1, then we have 2. When x is equal to 2, then this becomes 4. So as you could see in this case, the value of our activation function increases when the rate of the input also increases. And that's why we have here a straight line. But of course, it's not always a straight line. In some cases, of course, this would be a something like this. So it is going downward as opposed to this one which is going upward. And how is that? For example, we have here, this one is negative 1, this becomes negative 2, and this one is negative 2, this one becomes negative 4. So as you could see, the trend would become a decreasing trend. So mathematically, how do we express linear activation function? So this one can be expressed in this formula, mathematical formula. So we have a function of x is equal to m times x. This kind of function has its own drawbacks or major problems and we're going to discuss two of the major problems of linear activation function. Let's have the first one. The first problem is that it is not possible to use linear activation function or it's not possible to use back propagation, back propagation as the derivative of the linear activation function. So why is that? So when we have this one, function of x, let me write this one here first. m is equal to, or the function of x is equal to mx. So if we're going to take the derivative of this function, this one would result to a constant. So this would just become m because we take the derivative. And if you don't know what a derivative of how or how to get a derivative, I suggest you first um, review um, derivatives of calculus for you, to, for you to be able to understand properly what we mean by this one. So let's go back to this one. When the derivative of our function becomes a constant, it means to say that it has no relationship to our input. So there is no relation. And this having no relation is very bad to our neural network. It's because when we only have this remaining value in our function, this, then this would mean to say that in this case, the back propagation value does not depend on the value of x, which is not actually very good in learning. So what we mean by this is that there is no information coming from x that affect the value of m. From the input going to the output, there is somehow no connection because there is no transfer of learning. The other one is that the layers of our NN will just collapse if we are going to use linear activation function. So let's remember this that we have this first one, fx, and we have these layers here. Then we have this output, okay, output. So we have said that there is no transfer of learning from the input to the output. And it seems like this layer does not exist because this one is also this. So there is no need for us to go through to this part of our neural networks because this one has no value at all. 
So this means to say that the layers collapse. And this means that a linear activation function turns the neural network into just one layer. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.